What is going on, fellow Wastelanders? Shock Radio here, and today we're gonna take a look at some brand new news from the dev blog on the Crosshouse website, introducing new melee weapon, new structural parts, as well as a new relic weapon. You stick around to the end of this video where I'm gonna show you a sneak peek at a project that I've been working on to help console players decide if it's worth crafting an item or just buying it off the market. So let's get right into it. So the first item up is a new melee weapon, Charbdis, Charbdis, Charbdibdis, Charbdibdis. All right, in the storage of the Dawn's children, there's always been many tools that couldn't be adapted for close range combat. Riley was able to optimize some of these parts with the help of Ravager analysis module. And after that, the armored vehicles of the scientists finally became dangerous in close combat. So basically this is going to be a, a brand new a legendary kind of like buzzsaw weapon. Um, that has a special perk that when it's behind the enemy, it kind of pops out some extra blades to expand its area of contact. It does say that it is lighter than the Harvester with lower durability, but its perk is pretty awesome. So you can fit a lot more armor on the vehicle with it being a lot less mass and things like that. So you should be able to have a more faster and stealthier melee vehicle with this compared to the Harvester. So that is pretty exciting. Not the relic melee weapon that I've always wanted, but that's pretty cool too. Now they're also coming out with a new structural part, the Mars Rover part mounting bracket. So this is pretty cool because it's going to have the 90% pass through damage. So it's going to be like the, the gun mounts or the elbows or the buggy, buggy parts that we all love so much. So maybe, maybe good or bad. You know, hovers love to use those shoot through parts. Everyone loves to use those shoot through parts, but I'm pretty excited for this one. This one looks pretty cool. Looks like it has some pretty good mounting mounting uh, points as well, which is pretty nice. And then finally, the new relic weapon, the RL9 Helicon. Looks like a waltz, right? But it is a relic freaking rocket launcher. So is this like what we've all finally been waiting for, the relic cricket? Let's, uh, let's take a look. Each salvo launches a burst of three projectiles of different types. The first is armor piercing, the second is incendiary, and the third is an explosive one. As you can guess, the rocket launcher is quite demanding of your skills and attack planning, but will abundantly reward you for your efforts and all three rockets hit the enemy. That's going to be kind of insane for Leviathans, I would imagine. I, I am guessing this is going to be another weapon that is going to go straight to Levy Wars, because if you hit a Levy with three of those projectiles, that just sounds like it's going to do a lot of damage. Don't let the resemblance with the waltz confuse you. Rockets of Helicon fly on a ballistic trajectory just like the rockets of standard rocket launchers. So that's actually good. I was kind of worried it was going to be like and like not hit anything like the waltz, but this is going to be better. So that's good. Um, two rocket launchers mounted on an armored vehicle can change the balance of the battlefield. So that's it for the dev blog, guys. New melee weapon, new structural parts, new relic, all coming out during the next battle pass next month. And real quick, guys, I want to give you a sneak peek at something I've been working on. If you have stuck around in the video this long, um, at the end of the month, I'm hoping to get this done. This is a cross out crafting calculator for console players. In this, you basically just enter the value of whatever resources are going for on the market, put those in the database, and then you select what item you want so here we'll just go to small wheels we'll calculate the cost it'll ask you how much the small wheel is for say we can get it for a one and a half coin well it says the bu current buy price of the small wheel is one and a half coin the cost to craft the small wheel is 1.8 coin you should buy the small wheel so this is a, a website that i'm going to be working on to help console players just do the math really easy should you craft or should you buy really easy you want to craft you want to buy this will just tell you how much exactly it is to craft and you enter how much it is to buy and the computer will kind of tell you what to do so i appreciate everybody watching like and subscribe to the video to support the channel below are also links you can find to support me as well as twitch link to find live streams thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next update